hi guys welcome to my youtube channel i know it's been a while but it's an explanation for that and i'm going to tell you all about it if this is your first time on my channel please click the subscribe button so that you see my new videos when they come up and i'm going to have them every week now um, so there's always something fresh on the channel now in this video this is going to be a cook with me video this is my first time doing this and in this one i'm going to show you how i'm going to make grilled fish and plantain we're going to do everything together i'm going to show you all the seasonings that i'm using and how i do my grilled fish and my plantain so if you'd like to see that don't go anywhere <music> This is the fish I'm going to use. This is croaker fish. Um, I'm only going to do one fish now. So the first thing I do is I try to dry it as best as I can. Try to get rid of the water so it's not wet so that the seasoning can stick to it, you know. You can use any fish that you have or that you like. I just like croaker for grilled fish because um, when I season it, it tastes really good. Tilapia too is good, but I have a lot of bones and I'm just not in the mood for that right now. So I'm using this croquet fish. So once I've um, dried up all the water, I'm going to make slits in the fish like this. I'm going to do three on both sides. And see, there's still some more water coming out. Um, so I want to dry all of that. I'm going to do three on this side also. So, next thing, I'm going to mix my seasoning. So, I'm going to use garlic powder. I'm going to do that in this little bowl here. I'm going to put some garlic powder in here. This is about one teaspoon. I'm going to add some onion powder I love onion powder onion powder just changes everything trust me if you don't already use onion powder you want to get some because it changes everything um, I'm going to use some onion powder I'm going to use some curry powder I use ducros I love ducros curry it's just I think it's the best one I've seen so far I'm also going to use Old Bay Old Bay is um Old Bay is Old Bay, it's Old Bay seasoning, it's good for seafood, it's good for, it's good for poultry, it's also good for salads, like it says on the container. I'm going to use a little bit of this, and Old Bay already has salt in it, so you want to be careful. Um, so that's some Old Bay. I'm not going to use any salt, I'm going to add... I'm going to add some no bouillon. This is the one that I use. The chicken, it, it says chicken flavor, but I like it, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use about one teaspoon also. So I'm going to mix all of this together. I'm going to rub it in my fish. My um, onion powder was starting to plump. I think it's where I stored it, I'm not sure, but it's starting to plump, so I'm just going to break all of that and okay this is nicely mixed now um, so there's that bouillon powder and I didn't add salt don't forget because my old bay seasoning has salt already and if you if you're not using old bay just taste it as you go it's always nice to taste your seasoning so you sort of get a feel for is it salty is it not is it good unless you're a pro and you already know this thing so I'm just going to put my seasoning on the fish now and I'm going to rub it in the slits that I made so that when it marinates it's really you know flavorful so I'm just going to rub this all over I want to get the, the um, what's that place called the the jaw of the fish um, you want to rub it all in there Make sure you get the slits and put some seasoning in there. Mm 
get all the corners. This fish I already cleaned. Um, I took out the gut and um, the gills already, so you have to do that otherwise it's gonna taste awful. So this is it already done. Um, feel free to put some oil in your seasoning before you rub it in but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray mine with um, canola oil just before I grill it. So now that this is done I'm going to put it somewhere to sit for about 30 minutes to one hour while I do the other things. I'm going to make a sauce so I'm going to do the sauce next. For the sauce I'm going to use some paprika peppers, some tomatoes, onions, uh, ginger and garlic. I'm going to clean this up now and blend it to make the sauce. So like I was telling you guys, I took some time off because I was pregnant. So now I have a baby boy. Um, but I took some time off because I was pregnant and I won't say it was a difficult pregnancy, but you know what is, you know how it is when you're just I'm tired all the time, I don't feel like doing anything. I mean, I had good days, I had a lot of good days, but there were days where I didn't just want to do anything and I already have a two year old, a two and a half year old. So it wasn't um, the most fun um, situation. On some days I just wanted to just chill and relax and not do anything. On other days I was really upbeat, wanting to go out, but YouTube just wasn't um, on the cards for me at the time, so I decided to take time off so that it doesn't affect the quality of the work that I do, hence all of the time that I took off. So after having a baby, of course, I needed time to heal, to get better, and here I am. I'm feeling much better now and in good spirits, thank God, and I'm happy to be back. I hope you guys missed me because I missed you guys. Um, some of you were leaving comments for me and I'm sorry I didn't reply to some of those comments because, you know, baby, but um, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to respond to everything and the old comments, the new ones, and we're back on track basically. So now that all of this is clean, I'm going to roughly blend it to make my sauce. I'm just going to wait for my oil to get hot. I'm not doing it on the stove top. I'm doing it here so that you guys can see it properly. It's a little dark over there. So I'm using this nice little hot plate that I use for my one minute videos on Instagram and to do this. So it's getting hot. This is the sauce I'm going to use to eat the plantain and the fish. It's optional, you don't have to because um, the fish is already properly seasoned. But um, I just like to have a little sauce on the side. So I'm going to put some curry powder in this about one teaspoon some of my nice bouillon my onion powder that I love you guys should try this onion powder business and let me know what you think it's a real game changer um, I'm going to sprinkle some. I'll leave the exact uh, measurements in the description box below so that you can see the measurement for everything that I used. I'm going to add some thyme. This is also Ducros thyme by the way. I like Ducros products. I find that they're very flavorful. I haven't added salt. I'm going to wait for it to cook a little bit um, to reduce a little bit all of the water to um, sort of dry up before I add salt. So I'll just let this cook. 
So while the sauce was cooking, I went to wash all the stuff that I used and I, I was just thinking, do you guys clean up when during the cooking or do you wait till you're done before you clean everything? I tend to wash and clean as I'm doing the cooking because it's just easier for me. When I finish cooking, I want to sit down and eat my food and enjoy my food and possibly fall asleep afterwards. I don't want to be doing dishes then. So I usually cook and clean at the same time. Let me know what you guys do. Do you cook and clean or do you finish cooking and then wipe down? Guys, I've moved my sauce to the stove top. I don't know if you can see behind me. The kettle is blocking me actually, but it's on that it's cooking. But it's time for my fish to grill now. I'm using this indoor grill. I hope you guys can see it. I'm using this indoor grill. It has a stand so I can stand it on its own, but I wanted to put it up here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. It's basically, um, it has this and it has the heating equipment and then the way it works, I really like this grill because it gives that um, open flame type of flavor. You know when you grill stuff open flame, the taste is different from when you do it in the oven. I'm sure you already know that, but I'm doing it on here because I want that flavor, I want that taste, you know. So I'm using this open grill. It just requires that you put one liter of water in the base and then you put this on and you turn it up and then it heats up it heats up and it's really really good I'll put the link for the grill in the description box so if you want it you can click on the link and get it I'm going to use this thing I'm not sure what it's called but it's for barbecuing um, this helps me to flip rather than try to lift the fish up and break it and whatnot when I'm grilling so if I put it in here it helps me to just turn it over when it's time to cook the other side so I'll show you how I'm going to do that so my fish is now ready um, the grill is on and it's heating up so here's my fish now in the um, grilling thing and you just lock it like so so I'm going to spray the fish on both sides um, it's going to smoke a little bit, so just bear with me. Actually, no, it didn't. So I'm going to do it on both sides. And now that my grill is hot, I'm just going to place it on it. So it's really easy using this thing. I'm just going to leave it to cook. And then when one side is done, I'll flip it to the other side. In about 12 minutes now, I'm going to flip the fish to the other side. I'm going to spray some more oil on it because it's looking a bit dry. You can also use a brush, a pastry brush, to just brush it over with oil. That will do also. As it's been about 30 minutes now and the fish is ready, it's nicely grilled on both sides. Make sure if you're using this thing to um, spray it with oil so that the fish doesn't stick. And it doesn't break but this is done now and I'm just going to set it aside while I fry my plantain it with the sauce so that is moist and nice so there my grilled fish and plantain feel free to try this recipe with any fish that you like and you get amazing results you guys have enjoyed this video it was really fun doing this type of video for you guys i hope you've enjoyed it let me know in the comment section what you think and 
Um, leave me your questions, your suggestions in the comment section and I'll respond to all of my comments and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that and follow me on Instagram at The Kitchen News and see you next time.